Now we're gonna go over the same exact stuff, the same exact mechanics from the inside heel hook or the saddle position. So, um, this one is a little more dangerous than the outside. So take your time with it. Let's be patient when we learn how to heel slip the inverted and when we learn how to apply it on a training partner, right? Uh, the ligaments are a bit weaker when we're defending the inverted heel hook or inside heel hook rather than the outside heel hook, okay? So my training partner is gonna apply an inverted heel hook on me. If my knee is outside the line of my ankle and hip, now that's when it's a problem for me. So it's the exact opposite of what we went over before. She wants my knee outside that line, that's when I'm in trouble. So what I have to do is take my knee inside the line. And now I point my toes, I push, pull, and I slip the heel, okay? Again, she has a heel hook. My knee's outside the line. I don't heel slip here, okay? Heel slipping here is breaking your leg, breaking your knee, right? I take my knee inside. However I do that, again, grabbing arms, grabbing legs. We're open-minded in how we go about this. We're gonna see a counter later on that I, I prefer. That's my favorite counter. But you have a lot of options here as long as this mechanic's obeyed. So if you show me a new counter, the first thing I look at is, well, are you accounting for this? Um, and you can watch really high-level uh, guys defend light locks. They'll go belly down. They'll do all sorts of interesting things. But this rule's always obeyed, not this one. So you'll notice that if you look, you just kind of got to invert your view. From here, I turn my knee down, I point my toes, push, pull, slip the heel. And again, this is also our general defensive posture, right? I'm in saddle, full saddle. I'm going to make sure that I turn my knee inside the line of my hip and ankle, and I keep my heel here, right? I'm not gonna square up and cross my feet, right? We're gonna see how to counter that later on. It's very important that immediately I do this, just like tucking my chin on back. Someone takes my back, Okay, first thing, chin tucked, where is my hand fighting? Same thing here, I see someone enter into the saddle on me, I turn my knee inside the line. Right, whether I have to grab hands, head, feet, I wanna make sure my knee's inside this line, now I'm gonna go do something else productive. Okay, so again, same mechanic, just the opposite. She wants my knee outside the line of my ankle and hip. I wanna bring it inside. I curl my toes just like I'm picking up something off the ground and point them like a ballerina push, pull, and we slip the heel. Okay, let's give this a shot, guys. One, two, three. 